season is in full swing and today we are going to be doing a fantastic dish with these beautiful red legged partridge now these were shot a couple of days ago they've been hanging somewhere cool and they were shot in the fantastic Gloucestershire countryside and we're going to keep these classic you know you don't want to mess with a bird of this you know magnitude so all we're going to do is we're going to roast it whole keep it nice and moist and we'll serve it on a bed of cabbage and onions it's going to be beautiful so I should get on and pluck these and then I shall show you how to draw them get the guts out and we'll get on roasting them so I've gently plucked these lovely partridge as you can see so what I'm going to do one movement take the head off and then the same with the wings if you have a look I'll show you where it joins the breast bone that first bend if you get your knife in just snap it it comes off and obviously at the end we'll go around we'll take off any bits of feathers we don't want so that little bend snap and just gently get your knife in and with the legs feel where the natural bend is you can snap it and twist and pull and it will pull its tendons out of the legs so you can see where it bends hold it like that nick it nick it underneath as well snap twist pull and that will pull all the tendons out so you don't get them stuck in your teeth right so I shall do that with the other one and I'll show you how to gut these now I know what you're thinking they don't look much yet but obviously this is a wild product this is wild game and obviously you do get a little bit of shot damage but it's nothing to worry about we're certainly not going to waste it by the time we finish cleaning it up and gutting it they will look amazing so what we're going to do then is we're going to gut it so I'm just going to lift the flap up by its anal vent make a little incision make sure you go all the way through it helps just under the breastbone will do and get your two fingers in scrape up along the top of the breastplate and then in one movement you should be able to pull all its insides out nice work if you can get it obviously this one's a bit more rough I mean when you think in the 1800s this is how people like their game green oh but you know this will come right it's too good a bird to waste pull its guts out we have a look in there in the cavity nice and clean so already then they're starting to look a little bit more appetizing you turn it over you see the neck where we cut it off gently with your knife turn the other way just go down the neck and then pull the neck away from the skin get a knife in there and there you have your little partridge now I'm just going to nip the anal vent there which allows me to just gently tuck its legs in and there you have one little partridge ready to roast now you're always going to get casualties this time of year with the shooting like I said you know this isn't bought off a shelf this is shot and sometimes you are going to get shot damage you can see on these the legs are gone but the breast is going to be perfectly fine so what I'm going to do is just I'm just going to truss this up and then I'm going to get them on to chill for a bit and then we're going to cook them. So to truss I'm just going to go under, cross it over and then tuck the one, 
back under there and the one back under there and then round the back just tie a knot you should just be able to catch the neck just tie that off a minute and there you have your other one tucked up nicely ready for the oven so for these lovely partridge then we are just going to roast them plain meat on their own we're not going to add any flavours we're not going to lard it with bacon we're just going to simply roast it because it's got such a beautiful flavour on its own that we don't want to mask it we want to keep it really natural and we'll be serving it on a bed of savoy cabbage with onions and bacon some lovely home cured smoked bacon from Gloucestershire again so what we're going to do first of all is I've just heat, heated a little bit of oil in the pan I shall add a little knob of butter to it and once that gets going it'll take a few minutes I've got one small onion which I've sliced thinly because this part takes about 15 minutes and the partridge takes about 15 minutes with the rest in time so if we get these going it should all come together pretty much at the same time so just get my onions going a bit like I said you know we don't want to put a lot of colour on these so 10 or 15 minutes just until they're nice and soft so with my bacon just going to make some nice little lardons just slice it this is a great bacon from a local butcher so into nice little squares I mean I am going to put quite a bit of that bacon in actually because I like it so just get it in there it'll take on a little bit of colour release its oils which will all go into the onions into the cabbage and then when we add that little bit of stock to help this cabbage on its way it will all go to making a sauce at the end so we get our lard on in the smells are amazing you cannot beat onions and bacon so while that cabbage is cooking away nicely let's get on with these beautiful partridge so I've got an oven to hob transferable cooking vessel made by Le Creusier so what we're going to do season our partridge outside and in the cavity and the beauty of a dish like this obviously I've spoken about the shot damage this will all be coming off the bone so you haven't got to worry too much about any blood meat I mean there's nothing wrong with it it just doesn't look good so there's our partridge seasoned up I've got my pan on to that I'm going to add some olive oil and yet more fantastic butter don't tell the doctor so I'm just going to season up my onions and bacon if you notice I've just put pepper in obviously that being bacon it's got its own amount of salt we can adjust that when we plate the dish up if we want to add more obviously you can put more in you can't take any out so what we're doing then it's getting nicely hot take our partridge nicely seasoned one side down and what we're doing adding a bit of colour and starting the cooking process and this is the way with game birds like this that haven't got a lot of fat you get a good tender meat you know you've either got to stew it for a long time you know and it can be difficult judging the cooking times but once you start it off in the pan like this I suppose half pan roasting half oven roasting you're on to a winner so what we're doing then one side each two minutes So they've been two minutes on that side as you can see it took on a nice bit of colour so what we're going to do swap them round and just put them 
Turn the legs down. And we'll give them two minutes. That side. I should just check on that partridge out. As you can see, took on some colour. So, onto its backbone. And as you can see, we're just roasting, 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 getting some colour, starting the process. My onions, my bacon, looking yummy. I mean, that's a great dish on its own, that is. But to team it with this partridge and then to make a sauce with the stock and a bit of this oil that it's roasted in, tip top. Now I've preheated my oven to gas mark 9, if you have a look up there you'll see the conversion and obviously we're going to roast this real quick because we've you know got the cooking started underway already in this pan so let's give it a couple of minutes now breast side to get that nice colour on that breast obviously it's the presentation so we want a nice dark colour on them and then we're going to get it in the oven gas mark 9 10 minutes and we can finish our, our onions and our bacon get our cabbage in. So they've had their initial two minutes, breast side down, let's take a look at them. Does that not look appetising as it is? So I'm going to take the heat off there then, they are going straight in the oven, gas mark 9 for 10 minutes. Right, so we got our bacon and our onions sweated down nicely. Time to prepare this lovely little Savoy cabbage. Easy way to do this, cut it in half, cut it into quarters, scoop out the root and then nice and fine. Then what we'll do is we'll start stir frying this off. I'll add a bit more butter and then when we're halfway through roasting that partridge, we should get this on with a stock and really finish the dish off. Lovely little tip that is. A great way to get perfectly shredded cabbage every time. So in there, another knob of butter. I know you're all thinking, man, the man's butter mad, but some things in life need butter. And this is one of them. So this is a great seasonal dish, obviously autumn, stroke winter, got that lovely cabbage, those bacon and the onions and obviously with that freshly shot partridge, heartbreak partridge, never looks so good baby. Wait until you see the finished dish. So what we're going to do then, stir fry that for a couple of minutes and that will wilt down and make a lovely bed to tuck those partridge up on. So what we're doing then, stir frying that on a high heat. Lovely, lovely on its own that. So that's finally all wilted down. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to turn the heat off on that because the partridge has got five more minutes roasting and ten minutes resting and in that resting period we will finish off our cabbage with the stock and then make up our sauce. So my partridge then have been in the oven, gas mark 9, on the highest heat and it really needs a high heat to get that lovely roast flavour. Look at those beauties. So what we're going to do then, we're going to put those rest side down, cover that with foil and let that rest now for 10 minutes so all those juices redistribute right into the breasts. We're going to pour off this oil and start making our sauce. Now the trick with making sauces is you don't have to be fancy. Nine times out of ten the roasting pan juices are enough to get what you need. So you can see there I have tipped off most of the fat. So into that pan then because I can just a little drop of port. Just scrape the bottom of that pan, getting all those lovely caramelised juices off the bottom. Like I said, we're resting that bird for 10 minutes and hopefully when we cut into it, it's still going to be a little bit pink. So 
So I'm just going to reduce that just a little bit by leaving it uncovered and let it bubble away nicely. That tastes amazing as it is. So just a little spot of the stock that we are going to do the cabbage in in a moment. Same principle, just reduce it to intensify the, uh, intensify the flavour and we'll just spoon a couple of tablespoons over the finished dish. So the sauce is reducing nicely there. This is ready to have some stock poured on it. Let's just put two, three, say four tablespoons. Bring it up to heat. And if you like what you see here today, please like and share it. And most of all, subscribe. Now the Scott Reed Project, I release a video every week. And with it being game season, you know, there's so many treats ahead. So please don't miss out and subscribe. So what we're doing then, keeping on a high heat, we are just moving it around in the pan, making sure it sucks up all that stock. Like I said, that sauce, well, it's dark, it's rich, not unlike me, and it should soon be ready. Just going to try a little bit of that cabin. Mm. Great combination. Get plenty of, excuse me, pepper in there. Now I can add a bit of salt, some of this lovely mould and sea salt in. Oh man, if the partridge weren't so good, I'd just sit down and eat that now. So, my cabbage accompaniment is cooked. Take that off the heat, put a lid on, keep it warm. Just slide my sauce on there gently, turn the heat right down. Check out these lovely partridge, these fantastic heartbreak partridge. And what I want to do is put that cooking, relaxing, our meat juices in with the sauce as always building up the flavours keeping it all to the max is what you want to be doing I should just put a little bit of heat under that just to reduce it a little bit make it more thick then we're going to have a look at these fantastic little partridge so take off its little legs I cannot wait to try this. And when you think of what we started, those birds, with the feathers on, you know, and a bit of shot damage, and how far we've come, just take it off the bone. I think you'll agree. It's a different creature altogether. God, it's hot. So let's plate this up then. I've took the breasts and the legs off those partridge. If you remember, there was some shot damage in the legs. That's why there's two missing, plus I bet some. I'm not gonna lie to you, couldn't resist it. Them in the plate. One nice mound of the onions, bacon, and the cabbage. And then I think we'll just slice these breasts, put one, mm. two, we'll just put a little feet on. See, and sit them up a bit more. Try and do it chefy. And then that lovely rich sauce. We'll just dribble some on. That simple sauce just made with a bit of port, pan juices and stock. Oh, I'm gonna have some more because I know it tastes beautiful. And there you have. My roasted heart brie partridge 
on a bed of Savoy cabbage, bacon and onions. What a stunning looking plate of food. Now I know, and you know, it's a thing, it's a bond between us we have, that that is going to be something else. I can honestly say I thought the hair dish could not be beaten but I think I have trumped myself with this it is an absolutely amazing dish listen guys I've got to get this down my neck so please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already because I release a video every week and there's going to be tons more of stuff like this coming up and also catch me on Twitter at the Scott Reed Project. I'll try and answer as many questions as I can, but that is seriously, seriously good fodder. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's emotional.